Do you want an idea to fill some of the white space in a clean and simple card without losing the clean and simple look? Hi, I'm Jess from JessCrafts.com, and I'm going to help you make the most of your crafty supplies in time. So let's get started. Today, I have another no scrap paper busting template for you, for you. This is number 35 from 6x6 sheet paper that makes an A2 size card. If that's not your jam, I have different, I have templates for different sizes of paper and different sizes of card. Today, I wanted to do something different with the background because this sketch calls for a lot of space to be left blank. I like the look of white space. I like clean and simple cards. And I don't always feel the need to add anything in the background, but a common suggestion was to emboss the background. So that's what I tried today. And you'll see I did the embossing right there at the beginning, but as we go through the cards, you'll see how it turns out. I just used the embossing sandwich for my Gemini Junior. If you go to the Gemini Junior website, you can look at their like menu of how to do everything. I copied it into a Word document and shaped it and printed it out, laminated it and stuck it next to my die cut machine so that when I am wondering what the appropriate sandwich is, I just have to look that up. Like I have to look up at that laminated sheet and I don't have to you know, go and search the website again. So I really recommend printing that out, maybe change it up so it's the right size like I did for your space but it can be very, very helpful to have those as a reference for whatever die cut machine you happen to own, but print it out and leave it somewhere in your craft room. This no scrap template is a little bit tricky. It's been up on my website for a while, but I haven't made a video for it in part because I knew that it was a design that had a lot of white space and that that's not everyone's favorite but also that it's going to require you to do a little bit of measuring and perhaps a drawing ahead of time. So there I was taking my three by three square. You're going to cut four of them. It's going to make four cards and you're going to cut triangles out of your three by three square. This template is downloadable at my blog. So you do not have to worry about what the measurements are or even what I was doing because it all, it does break all of that down. But basically the larger triangles, are have a two inch base and are three inches high. The smaller triangles have a one inch base. They're right triangles and they have a, and they're also three inches high because they're all cut from that three inch square. So I highly recommend you draw the triangles out and then cut along your drawn lines. Go light with your pencil, especially if you only have single sided paper. I was basically able to draw on the back like draw on the side that I didn't want to use, but that, and you could do that if you have single sided paper too, just draw on the white side. But if you're like, want to be able to use either side, that's why drawing with the pencil would be quite helpful. So this stamp set, well, the, well, the stamps and the embossing folder that I'm working with today are from Spellbinders. They were sent to me to share with you, but I really enjoy Spellbinders products and I find them quite high quality. And so that's why I wanted to share them with you. This is part of the Into the Wilderness collection that they recently released. And this stamp set, which is a create a scene silhouette, is really beautiful. I thought the most obvious thing to do with it is a beautiful blended background and stamping that silhouette on top of it. But I wanted to try something a bit more unexpected. So what I've done here is I've taped my triangles back together. And I want to do that. I wanted to cut them first and tape them back together because I wanted to know where my stamps were going to be cut apart. Like, so once I've stamped the image, I want to know where it's going to be separated just so that like I have a good enough chunk of the cloud or the birds to make sense. And it's not just a little tiny line or something left over on one of the pieces because you are going to separate these pieces and leave them gaps in between them. And you want your eye to sort of be able to fill in everything. And with that in mind, it's important to kind of consider how much of anything is left on a particular triangle or strip. To assemble my card, I'm going to use Barely Art glue. I often use ATG, but it doesn't work very well for teeny tiny things like the corners or tips of these triangles. So I prefer my ATG when gluing triangles in general, but in particular, it's a really strong glue. And so I'm confident that it will adhere to this embossed background because an embossed background has those little dips in it. So it's not, you know, a completely flat surface. It could be challenging to make sure that 
everything adheres well. So a strong glue is important. I'm also going to take my tool from Twiddler's Nook. It's a stamp press tool, so something you would use to get even pressure on your Misty. And I'm using that to make sure that I am going to get even pressure on these cuts because I don't want to, you know, as I'm pressing it down with my fingers, I don't want to forget to press the tip. And so this gives me a more even pressure, but also a bigger surface area so that I can press down. She's also going to start selling a cover for it so that if you want to use it as a press tool, you can protect your felt pad by covering the felt pad with a plastic cover. And I'll remember to link that in the video description for you. And then I'm going to add my sentiment from the stamp set. If you found this video inspiring, here's another video where you can find more ideas for enjoying your crafty supplies and time. Let me know you like this video with a share to your crafty community. Subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss the next template tutorial and check the video description for product links. See you in the next video.